Yo, what's up guys? I'm back with more cypher cameras and trap wire spots, this time for Haven. There won't be any glitch cameras in this video, but we're gonna start with cameras and then do trap wires. A site, above A short. For this camera you need to head up into A tower and jump out of the window onto the box in the middle of the site. Once you've landed, head to the edge of the box, close to A short and place a camera as I do. This will allow you to hear enemies running sewers, A link and A long. It's a great camera to use when you defend on A side because you can sit in the tower and ping that where the enemies are coming from, then kill them easily. Right of A tower. This one is straightforward to place out, and it's very it's very tough to spot it from all angles. It's a great alternative to the other camera, and it's also easy to put up post plant in case you've got control of A tower. A long on a light bulb. If you happen to want to either attack or defend A site post plant, this is a great way to scout A long but also A tower. You can see straight into A tower with this camera, but keep in mind that you cannot ping or tag anyone. You can manually ping on A tower if you press caps and then click on the map. Attack spawn. Before you head into A long as an attacker, make sure that you scout if anyone is pushing A long from the defender's side. You jump and place the camera on a branch as I do and then look into the camera as the walls disappear. That way you won't miss anyone running out. Above mid window. Let's say that you have a buddy who wants to peek in mid window. With this camera, you can peek for them and call out if anyone is holding an angle. Above B mid entry. You put up your camera above mid entry, the mid choke. I would go for the right side because then you can see straight into where enemies are gonna be. And you can also hide by C link behind a box and wall bank. As an attacker, post plant cameras are pretty nice. You put it right above the B mid entry, and that way you can see enemies as they walk in, and they need to walk through the doorway in order to see it. And while they walk in, they also need to clear angles that are immediate threats. And that allows you to ping and tag them easily. Above C short. This is a nasty camera. It's not often that you'll hold C as a cipher, but if you do, try this. It's very challenging to spot it and enemies are very easy to see. C site. By the fire. Any cameras that are tucked close to the floor on the balcony that's on fire is a great camera because of the fire background and the smoke making it blend in well. C long spotlight. You don't need to see down C long to be holding C. Just being able to see enemies run in and activate your cage traps is perfect. With this camera, you can hear them. And what you do is you just jump up, place it there, and that's it. This camera uses the same type of angle as the one on A short. Combine this with your trap wires and cages and you'll wipe out your opponents. Let's do some trap wires. C long. There's a lot of options for pathing when it comes to C after breaking the choke. I'd recommend using the default trap wire and mixing in some angled ones like these. Back of C site. Here's a neat trap wire that angles and makes it very difficult for enemies because they have to walk in a bit further until they can start noticing the trap wire. It's a pretty nice one for post plant holds. C site default plant. If you've planted for default spot on the box, you can angle the trap wires off the plateau like this and it'll trigger enemies who try to defuse. It's a very nice spot in case you're holding site alone on C long. C short. For C short, I'd recommend just sticking with the plain old trap wire at hip level on the box. There aren't very many good options that are also fail safe because usually you end up having to spend more than one trap wire. B site. There are several angles you can take, but they usually do the same thing. It is still possible to defend like this, especially if you have a camera far up on either side of the mid choke. A long and A short. You can't go wrong with the default traps here because it's all about the usage of your cages, camera and trap wires all combined. You can still go for angle traps to mix things up and keep enemies on their toes. I like to angle them on the roof and poles onto typical spots that enemies have to walk through in order to get into A. Sometimes I like to leave A short open and just have a cage there because I can shoot through the cage, I can ping the enemy, I can tag. It's very easy to wall bang as well on A short. If you're attacking A, 
It depends entirely on where you attack from and where it's planted for. You trap the areas that you aren't holding, and one trap that is always good is the one on the window because if anyone tries to jump out and triggers it, they fall down, take fall damage, and then go up. It's very difficult to aim while they are in there. I hope you enjoyed the video. I stream often on Twitch in case you want to see what it looks like when I use these. It's twitch.tv slash Thanks so much for watching guys. See you later.